Welcome back to my channel, Raf Raf Raf. Follow me. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do it now. Just click the red button on the right hand side, like and share, and hit the bell so you'll see more videos from me. Ruff, ruff, ruff. This time, we are going to talk why do dogs like belly rubs so much. According to the Spruce Pets, one of the most joyous parts of owning a pet is cuddling. Many of our dogs seem to love having their bellies rubbed. They happily flap on their backs, tongue lolling and tail wagging as they await tummy scratches. But why? What's so great about having their belly rubbed? First, let's talk about what is the difference between submissive behavior and wanting a belly rub. Dogs expose their bellies to humans for two main reasons. Number one, submissive display. And number two, a request for a belly rub. It's important to know what your dog is telling you before you go in for petting. Dogs adapting a submissive display, also called, are trying to diffuse social tension by showing what they're not a threat. Petting a dog who's showing submissive or appeasing behaviors can make the dog more nervous because now you're touching him in very vulnerable parts of his body. Dogs who actually want a belly rub will generally show the following body language signals. Number one, overall, loose, wiggly, body postures. Number two, mouth. Relaxed, open mouth, you might see their tongue flopping around. Number three, open or squinty, bright and not necessarily staring at anything. Number four, relaxed, wagging tail. Number five, Vocalizations, quiet ha-ha sound as they laugh or a light panting sound or silent. In contrast, a dog who is showing submissive or a peacing behavior will look like this. Number one, overall, tense, low body postures. They may crouch, freeze, or tense up. Number two, mouth, lips pulled far back in a fear grimace, or lips and mouth closed, may see lots of lick licking and tongue flicking. Number three, eyes, wide open and staring into the distance or showing the whites of their eyes as they look at you without Turning their head or eyes will be squinty and tense. Number four, tail may be still or wagging, but will have tension in the base of the tail and the tail may be tucked. Number five, vocalizations, quiet or soft whining. Most people find it easiest to watch the dog's tail and mouth. But keep in mind that a wagging tail does not equal a happy dog. A tucked, stiff, fast tail wag is not the same as a full body, loose tail wag. So let's go back to the question. Why do dogs love belly rubs? It's hard to say exactly why dogs love belly rubs. We can ask our pets, right? Well, since dogs can't easily scratch 
their own tummies, they are more likely to rely on humans for help. Many dogs also enjoy rolling in carpet or grass to really itch their backs. Anecdotally, it seems that many dogs seem to enjoy getting a belly rub while they also scratch their backs. They can reach their own shoulders, necks, and face with their hind feet. But they really don't have a good way to scratch their own tummies. Think of how nice it feels to have someone rub your back or scratch an itch that you can't reach. No wonder dogs love getting a helping hand with their belly rubs. So how to give a great belly rub to a dog? Not all dogs love belly rubs. Most dogs don't always want a belly rub either. If your dog doesn't love belly rubs or doesn't want one right now, it's no big deal. Some dogs just aren't into it. Or maybe your dog just isn't in the mood. Many dogs really only enjoy belly rubs in the morning when serotonin levels are highest or when they're really relaxed. You can help your dog love belly rubs even more by learning how to give a good belly rub. Here are the basic steps to giving an excellent belly rub, which are modified from the Pet Pet Toss Protocol for petting dogs. Number 1. Watch to see if your dog is asking for a belly rub. Check the body language listed above or what we have discussed previously. If your dog doesn't seem to want a belly rub right now, don't push it. The best way to teach your dog to trust you and love belly rubs is to respect him when he says, no, thank you. Number two, kneel down. Keep your body language loose and relax at first. Number three, rub the belly. Try open-palmed fingernails in circular or even pathing motions. After 3 to 5 seconds, stop petting. Number 4. See what your dog does next. If he paws at you, stays put or otherwise shows that he'd like more petting. Go back in for more. If he gets up and leaves, belly rubs are over. Number five. Try changing up what sort of petting you use and see what different results you get. You might be surprised to find a new type of belly rub that your dog loves even more. The most important thing is to respect your dog's wishes and pet him the way he'd like to be petted. If you read your dog's body language, you will ensure your dog loves belly rubs even more than he already does. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please do it now and follow me for more. Ruff, ruff, ruff! Additionally, according to PetMD.com, some dogs love belly rubs almost as much as playing fetch or chewing on a really good bone. Yet, others could go without the show of human affection. So, why do dogs like belly rubs? And, is it weird if some dogs don't? Belly rubbing is a comforting action, explains by Dr. Peter Brown, Chief Medical Officer of Wegley, a veterinary-based pet service provider with campuses in California and Washington. According to him, it's an opportunity for bonding and part of the owner and dog's relationship. 
studying back rolling behavior in dogs. A dog rolling over on his back doesn't always mean the animal is being playful, submissive, or looking for a belly rub, especially in instances when other dogs are close by. In 2015, two teams of researchers from the University of Lethbridge in Alberta and the University of South Africa set out to investigate the meaning and function of dogs rolling over during play with other dogs. The researchers wanted to know if a dog rolling over onto the back is really an act of submission that serves to stop aggression or a tactic executed for combat purposes. The researchers examined videos showing dogs playing together and stage play sessions with a medium-sized female dog paired with 33 dogs of different breeds and sizes. Then, they sat back and observed. The researchers concluded that while dogs may roll when playing, the move might also be used to gain an advantage in fighting. Of rollovers observed, none of the dogs rolled over in a submissive response to aggressive behavior by another dog. Researchers noted that dogs rolling on their backs in front of other dogs used their position to block playful bites and launch attacks on the aggressor. Let's talk about people also ask. What does it mean when a dog lets you rub its belly? There are, however, some dogs who can survive without the constant stomach rubbing, but most experts agree that when dogs ask for belly rubs or petting of any kind, it shows how comfortable they feel as they're part of the family. The greatest reward you can give your dog, as share, is the touch of your hand. Are belly rubs good for dogs? It also sets off a specific reaction in the brain that responds to the stimulation of hair follicles. Experts believe that dogs love petting and belly rubs in particular because the stroking of hair is linked to social grooming. How do you know your dog loves you? Your dog might jump on you lick your face, and they'll definitely wag their tail. Being excited and happy to see you is one way you can assure they love and miss you. Basic physical contact. This can come in the form of a quick nozzle, a cuddle, or the famous lean. Where do you rub a dog's belly? Always scratch or rub gently as the stomach is a sensitive area on a dog. Feel free to rub your dog's stomach however you'd like. Try rubbing in circles, short scratches, or longer motions up and down the whole length of your dog's stomach. If you like this video, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share, and hit the bell so you'll see more videos coming from me. Ruff, ruff, ruff!